Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. What a cold morning we are having here in Alabama. <sighs> Take a breath. So today I thought, instead of just tapping on releasing energy, that we would tap on grounding and centering. Right now with all the holidays and all the energy everywhere, there's a lot going on in the cosmos. Being ungrounded is, was a big theme yesterday, working with my clients. And then even in my class last night, my teacher was talking about it, like, okay, this is definitely a theme going on in the world right now, as well as like, you know, how sometimes in the holidays, sadness and loneliness, and that can really pull us out of our body, which is really what grounding is about, being in the body and being present. And I know right now too, we can like, oh, I gotta do this, and I gotta do this, and I wanna do this, and let me won't even talk about all the shopping going on every other email, right? I know I've added my in mind in there as well. So really finding the ability to ground and to center our energy is really, really important. And this can help us to do this through tapping. So that's really what the tapping will be about. If you feel that you need to have things to release out of the body, if you're holding on to some limited beliefs, you know, about yourself, trying to move forward, or even extra emotions from the full moon, what a beautiful full moon, then you can also add your words in as we go through the tapping. But I do think that the centering and tapping, the centering and grounding for everybody is really, really important. Here's my AWIB, Alabama Women in Business. We had an event last night. Come join the group, great group of women. All right, let's begin finding I have to laugh. Anybody watch Lessons in Chemistry? Great movie, great book. And every she starts her cooking show. Okay, let's begin. <laughs> so finding some fire to something to light. Taking a nice deep inhale. And exhale all the way down. Slowing down. Noticing that spark of energy coming in for you. Noticing the air. Clearing the mind. Clearing the space, taking another deep inhale and just dropping into the heart, letting that energy of water wash through all that emotional energy from that big old full moon, calling in the element of earth. This is where we start to ground and center. Spirit to spirit, inhale, expanding the breath up the body. And as you exhale, just call all your energy into you. Call it in, call it in, call in your spirit. Feel the spiritual body coming right in alignment with the physical body. Centering, aligning. Taking another deep inhale. And exhale. Bring in the awareness right into the deepest part of your heart. Right into the deepest part. Feel that connection, your spirit, the greater spirit, God. Know that you're known, know that you're loved, guided, protected. Feeling all this energy coming in around you. Taking a moment and just noticing if you are centered and grounded. Notice if you're wandering. Notice if your mind is in a bazillion places. Just notice, don't judge. And then exhaling all the way down, deep into the earth. Now, as you take that next breath, bringing up the pranic field of energy from Mother Earth, all the way up through the feet, through the first chakra, opening up through the body, the crown, up into the higher realms. And as you exhale, bring all that breath all the way back down, pulling in the navel center, exhaling through the first chakra, deep into the earth, opening up the Kundalini channel, radiant light, inhale up the body, and exhale all the way back down. And again, inhaling up the body, And exhale, pulling the breath all the way back down. And now opening up from the chakras in the heart, the auric field, just open up all around you, expanding the breath out. 
And as you exhale, just pull it all back in, breathing, moving energy. Inhale, expanding the breath, front, side, back, side. Exhale, pulling it back in. And again, inhaling. And exhaling. Returning to the vertical breath, up the body. Exhaling back down. Opening the auric field all around. Pulling the energy back in. Coming right into the very center. So if you'd like, give yourself a number of how ungrounded you may be feeling this morning, how overall flighty, not center. Just give yourself a number to see the energy move. And right here at the karate chop point, we'll start tapping, repeating after me. So even though I'm feeling a little all over the place, I choose to love and accept myself no matter what. So even though I'm feeling very ungrounded lately, I choose to accept where I am. So even though I'm feeling flighty, I choose to accept where I am right now. So even though I'm feeling very ungrounded, I choose to love and accept myself no matter what. And now we'll just move point to point right here at the eyebrows. Boy, I'm so ungrounded. So the eye, I just have so many things I need to get done. Underneath the eyes, I want to do everything at once. Underneath the nose, but I can't stop to even do one thing. On the chin, I recognize I'm not very present right now. The collarbone, I just try too much, too, think, too many things to do at once. Something like that. Underneath the armpits, I can't seem to ground. Top of the head, I can't even focus. The eyebrows, because I'm ungrounded. So I, I just feel flighty. Underneath the eyes, I feel like a chicken without her head. That's an old saying. Underneath those, but it describes how I feel right now. On the chin, trying to do too many things at once. The collarbone, no wonder nothing's getting done. Underneath the armpits, ah, I need to slow down. Top of the head, I need to ground and be present. At the eyebrow, yes, I need to ground. Side of the eyes, I need to focus in better. Underneath the eyes, it's just so easy to be distracted right now. Underneath the nose, and maybe being distracted on the chin keeps me from showing up. At the collarbone, keeps me from being in my brilliance. Underneath the armpit, so then it doesn't really matter anyway. Staying in my comfort zone. Top of the head, what happens if I am really centered and grounded? The eyebrows, what would happen if I do get everything done in a concise manner? Side of the eyes, then what? Underneath the eyes, oh my goodness, I can't even think about that. Underneath the nose, it's just easier to be all over the place. Here's my excuse, because I have a creative mind. The collarbone, I have so many things I want to do, a little of this, a little of that. Can you relate? Underneath the armpits, but then nothing gets done. Creative or not, nothing gets done. Top of the head, so yeah, there is something to be said about slowing down. The eyebrow, something to be said about doing one thing at a time. Something to be said about turning off all the distractions. But they help me think. Underneath the nose, but do they really? I need to ground and center. 
all the way to the cellular level, all the way through me. Underneath the armpits, feel my feet on the floor. Top of the head center, my spirit on top of me. My spirit is always so far ahead of me. Side of the eyes, I just need to call it in. Underneath the eyes, slow myself down. But then I won't get anything done. Not true, not true, not true, not true. The more focused I am, the more I will get done. More efficiently, too. Underneath your armpits, there is power in getting one thing done at a time. Top of the head, oh, but I've got 20 things to get done at, all at once. But can I really do that? Side of the eye, something tells me that I can, so I keep trying. Underneath the eyes, but it's really not true. Underneath the nose, because then I make mistakes. Chin, I mess up. And collarbone, I gotta start all over again and again and again. Redo it, repaint those steps, repaint those pictures over and over. Underneath the armpits, if I could just focus in Top of the head, take some deep breaths before I begin. Be centered in my thoughts, which really only takes a couple of seconds. I can be grounded. Underneath the nose, I can be grounded and present on the chin. And if I'm present, I'll probably be even more creative. And only the thoughts that I need will be right there. Top of the head. But when I'm all over the place, all the thoughts keep rushing in all at once. Side of the eyes. And nothing comes out as I want it to. Underneath the eyes, I make mistakes. Typos. Do the wrong thing. So I choose right now to be grounded. To be grounded, to be centered. I can do this. Underneath the armpits, I can ground and center as I feel all my energy coming right into me right now. Pull it in. Top of the head, drop a grounding cord, feel your feet on the floor. Coming into my body. Side of the eyes, I am present in my body right here, right now. Underneath the eyes, I am present. Underneath those, I choose to ground my energy. On the chin, I choose to focus my mind. The collarbone, one thing at a time. Underneath the armpits, I want to get my work done. And still be creative at the top of the head. And being present, the eyebrows, can help me to do that. Underneath the eyes, I am present. I am focused. I don't need to be flighty and all over the place. Being grounded, I can still have fun. I can still accomplish what I want and still be creative. Underneath the armpits, there is power in getting one thing done at a time. Top of the head, I can do this. I can be grounded. Stay focused. Turn off the distractions. Be in my body. Grounding at the cellular level. Collarbone right here. Right now, grounding at the cellular level, all the way through me. Underneath the armpits, no more self-sabotaging, just because I'm creative. Top of the head, no more trying to do everything at once. The eyebrows, I choose to slow down. Side of the eyes to be grounded. 
centered. I choose to be in my body. So even if I start to feel sadness, holiday blues, collarbone, I can choose to come right back into my body, connect to my spirit, talk to myself, do some tapping, be in my body. Underneath the armpits, that is how we ground. Top of the head being present in the body. I release my distractions, trying to do too much at once underneath the eyes so that I can focus in. And as I focus in, I find I can ground my energy, be present underneath the armpits. Oh, but it's so much more fun to be all over the place top of the head. Then I don't have to commit to anything. I can just be flighty. Take forever to make a decision. Who cares? Underneath the eyes, but that's not really helping me. Maybe it's just an old habit on the chin or a good excuse, but that's not where I need to be right now. I choose to be present, focused, centered. I choose to ground my energy all the way down deep into Mother Earth, top of the head, be aligned, focused, uncentered. I choose to be grounded to the very core of my being, pulling all my energy in, centering, grounding. Come back to the karate chop point. I choose to love and accept myself no matter what. Release the hands, take a breath, stretch for a moment. <sighs> Notice how you feel. Bring in the focus right here at the third eye. Feeling the strength right here in the solar plexus. Keep the heart open. Taking a deep inhale, breathing up the body. And exhale, breathing all the way down. Know that you can come back to this tapping at any time. When you find yourself all over the place, yes, it is a season that does that. But you can ground, you can center, and tapping can help. Taking the right hand over the left shoulder, just loving yourself. I love you no matter what. I love you. I love you. I love you. I'm sorry if I was ungrounded yesterday. Forgive me. I love you. I want to be centered. I love you. I love you. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Notice how you feel as we go to close, bringing the hands right up to the heart. Taking a moment of gratitude. Gratitude for all your many blessings, for all your creativity. Gratitude for the spirit, the connection you have with the greater spirit, God. Gratitude for showing up for you. Inhaling and exhaling all the way down deep into the earth. Take a moment, just notice how you feel. breath down, feel the feet connected to Mother Earth. And as you're ready, blinking the eyes back open, coming back. All right, you guys, this can be a very valuable tapping for you as you move through the holiday season. Have a great day. Be grounded to your spirit. Namaste.